Great question. You're definitely not alone. Our data shows that sourcing activity for printed circuit boards on thomasnet.com has increased sharply in recent months. In fact, over the last three months alone, buyers and engineers have been evaluating suppliers 25% more than usual. In just last week, we saw supplier evaluation activity for PCBs climb to 78% higher than its all-time average, and the trend shows absolutely no signs of slowing down. So what's happening here? Well, one of the five main components of PCBs is copper foil, and it is in short supply around the globe. Reports estimate that the supply of copper foil is falling short of demand by 2.8 million sheets per month. Contributing to the shortage is the fact that copper foil is a key component in the production of lithium ion batteries, which are used in electric vehicles. With electric vehicle production ramping up, thanks to investments by Tesla, Volvo's decision to go all electric by 2019, and large incentives from the Chinese government, demand is exploding. Because these batteries need a higher quality of copper foil than PCBs, suppliers can sell to the electric vehicle market at higher margins, and that's where they are focusing their efforts and their inventory. Now buyers are finding that their existing PCB suppliers can't meet demand, and so they are turning to resources like thomasnet.com to find new suppliers with better access to copper foil. It's a classic example of scarcity driving the market. How are these suppliers trying to keep pace? To find out, we spoke with Steve Gillespie of VR Industries, a full-service electronic contract manufacturer based in Rhode Island. He said that industry lead times for PCBs have gone from four weeks to eight to 10 weeks, but buyers are pushing for much faster lead times. Steve believes the shortage will persist as new market forces like renewable energy will further contribute to the scarcity of copper foil. Well, I hope that clears things up. To stay up to date on the latest sourcing and industrial trends from the Thomas Index, subscribe to our Shop Talk newsletter, and thanks for watching.